here we go again, going fully remote after this coming week. This time it's going to be different because kids have already experienced being fully remote. Cohort C has already been handling being fully remote like champs. And cohorts A and B, they've had a lot of in-class experience getting to know Ms. Berg and myself and now Mr. Brennan. Uh, so this time around, we're expecting it to be a lot better. And we're hoping to come back uh, pretty soon. January, once we get, I mean, as, as a country, once we get everything under control with this virus, especially here in Jefferson County where we've had low numbers so we can get it again. So I just want to remind you, your best bet uh, is checking this blooms right here. Um, clicking on, on my links provide you more details. I'll try to send more videos like this if this is better for you to just uh, listen. Um, but you can also read what assignments are due because all you need to do is check in with your kids and then follow up with Ms. Berg, Mr. Brennan, and me to find out if they are as caught up as they think they are. Sometimes they turn something in and they haven't checked it when we return it with uh, feedback for improvement. So you check in with us, even if you only do it once a week, maybe on Fridays. Hey, my kid says he's all caught up. Is it true? And then we can uh, get back to you right away. Um, you also probably just saw the message that came in uh, today, right before I was going to record this. Mr. Lynch is reminding us that this week, uh, we've got Monday, the 23rd, Cohort A, please send your kids so we can have one last face-to-face um, -face check in. And then Cohort B, Tuesday, the 24th, please send them in so we can have our last face-to-face -face check in. Um, and then have a great Thanksgiving. And uh, we will be putting out our schedule Monday, the 30th. The elementary is coordinating so that third, fourth, fifth, and sixth can have times when we're going to meet with kids online through Zoom or Google Meet. And we're trying to do it so that your kids aren't all having to get on at the same time. Uh, so know that we're working on that this week. And Ms. Berg, Mr. Brennan, and I will have a plan. We're kind of hoping to meet for at least half an hour, each of us, with each of your kids every day with a break in between so they're not Zooming or Google Meeting a huge amount of time. We'd rather them spend the time learning and working, and then we'll have office hours where they can just check in or message us. I mean, with me, this is what it looks like. Kids go here to messaging, and they get the announcements from me. They get links to take their attendance. Uh, they get personal messages from me responding to them right here by clicking on sixth grade and, and my face. So they get stuff like this. I got a lot of plans for great things for kids. Um, so stay tuned, read the updates or listen to them when I send videos and you'll know what's going on and, and hopefully we can get through this together like we did in the spring. So I wish you all well, wish you all a happy Thanksgiving and uh, stay tuned for more.